But everybody has a nation. This is a bold statement, but nobody else can say this. Everybody has their own country and land, but the Negroes in America. You from England, you don't like it over, you can go back home. There's a Nigerian out there, he don't like it, he can go back home. Oh, there's a Mexican out there, he don't like it, he can go back home. Oh, there's a Puerto Rican out there, he can go back home. Where do we call home? Do you know where my home is? Where, where, what Chinese are named after China? Cubans are named after Cuba. Pakistan is named after Pakistan. Russians named after Russia. Australians after Australia. Englishmen after England. What country named Negroes? Hello, welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the show. If you go across the world and ask anyone who is the greatest heavyweight boxer of all time, seven times out of ten, Muhammad Ali would be in the top three, if not number one. He felt this way at the, at the very early age. Yes, this didn't just come up. This video is not about Muhammad Ali's boxing history. We've seen a lot of those, like the movies, the documentaries, and the TV shows. This video is about what he did outside the ring. This highlight is why, even in 2023, Muhammad Ali is still the most loved and famous boxer in human history. But once upon a time in America, Ali was the most hated in American sports. Why? Well, because he laid it all on the line for his people. Black people have a meeting, 64 leaders show up. See, we not one, we too divided. And after we quit cutting each other, pulling each other down, fighting, disrespecting each other, clean up self, respect self, gang wars, and all kind of problems, after we unite, then if there's any love left, then we love somebody else. But first, we gotta unite. So ain't no such thing as how do we get together. We gotta get together first, and then you ask me that question. So everything I'm doing, if it means hitchhike tomorrow, if it means be raggedy, if it means look for a job, I'll be happy because I can go to bed, my conscience is clear, and I didn't sell out or trade my people just because I could be rich in Hollywood with a yacht out here on my, that could be my yacht right there. Imagine it's valued at 200000 but I wouldn't want that damn yacht if I couldn't go back over in the black neighborhood and protest a black woman being the hell with the lot, the hell with the championship. So I want the people to know this, you understand? If you made it this far, Hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger YouTube's algorithm. I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. All together, but society's yeah. made us different. No, not society. God made us different. No, no, we're just human beings. He made all I mean, of us. We all, listen, blue birds fly with blue birds. Red birds want to be with red birds. <laughs> listen, listen, tell me when I'm wrong. Pigeons want to be with pigeons. But tell we have me when intelligence. I'm not. Well, we have an well, we must, they, well, don't we have. Have, they don't have intelligence, but yet no. they stay together. We should have more intelligence than them, right? This is why it's considered the GOAT. And for those who don't know what the GOAT means, it simply means the greatest of all time. Even when he took his heavyweight belt for not going to war, Ali didn't budge, he didn't move. Instead, he doubled down and spoke even louder. Uh, they won't let me work in America, the government won't let me leave America where I can work, and I'm getting stronger, and this shakes up a lot of people to see them this strong. It also makes other so-called Negroes strong who are facing the same problems, and in this way, I think I can do for more for my people. They've never had a big black man that just stood up and identified with the struggle of his people a thousand percent. Once they can get them a white girl, a blonde, a brunette, or a hundred thousand dollar home, or a show on Broadway, usually every Negro we're watching this show now will tell you that you can't talk to them they're too big to be with their own people they go marry other than their own kind and i'm so happy and proud to become great in boxing to become the greatest one that ever lived the greatest You're still the greatest yes sir the greatest boxer that ever lived i'm the first one that they had to take a title from in the history of all of the red white and blue american titles Oh yes, to us, black people, to show other black people coming up and to show those who are here that you don't have to necessarily, you know, do this to make it and to sell yourself and your people. Because I'm as bold as you can get. Just my name alone, I follow the boldest, most courageous black man and I'm totally free and independent and I hope some can see this and see that they don't have to crawl and kiss people's boots so much. What made this even more shocking was most of Ali's interviews were 
by white media. He would go on white media and condemn and speak negative about white people. It's very far to talk about something as if the white man were some sort of uh, intrinsic devil uh, that no That's other the race truth. is. You are right. What you said was the truth. The thing that you all have done to us is worse than the devil you told us about underground. How would you like it if I were to lead into a commercial now? Mm, whatever you want to say, but when you say After devil, this message right. from our local stations, will return. White America didn't like it. They couldn't stand him. To make matters worse, I least started speaking against interracial dating and interracial marriage. No intelligent black man in this audience, no intelligent black woman in this audience want little white boys and little white girls coming to marry their sons and daughters and in return introducing your grandchildren as little half-white, green-eyed, blonde-haired Negroes. We're not seeking to lose our identity in blood mixing and our beautiful black African history. We don't hate you. We don't hate those of you who are white. We just want to stay black. We love my color. I just love myself. I didn't want black people to only date their kind and to make black babies. He was about black communities. Again, white America hated him for it. No white woman watching this show or no white man in his or her right mind, white mind, want black boys and black girls marrying their white sons and daughters in return, introducing their grandchildren as half brown kinky head Negroes. They don't want it. And why no, not? Uh, why not? You know why not. Nobody else, uh, and I'll tell you something else. Why not? For what? Every man likes a son who look like himself. I love my little boy and my wife, pretty brown girl, look like me. I love my daughters. I don't want no blonde headed, green eyed no, daughters. No, but sure, you know, everybody wants a child. Everybody looks like himself. Fast forward to today, majority of black athletes are obsessed with white women and or non-black men. You have people like your Charles Barkley, your Michael Jordan, your Shannon Sharp, your Tiger Woods, your Serena Williams, your O.J. Simpsons, and many more like them that married or dating white women or white men. I was awful. I'm in all these black movies they're making. You know, this is low rating. Black women in nude scenes with white men and black men in nude scenes and shower with white women and selling dope and super fly and all these cotton come to Harlem, even the titles, Nigga Charlie and Cleopatra Jones and Blackland Stein and, and Blackula and all these things which are really pulling out showing the worst of our society. Charlton Hester wouldn't do them, Clint Eastwood wouldn't do them, Burke Lancaster wouldn't do them, Anthony Quinn wouldn't do them. I turned on these type movies uh, because of this image you're talking about. We've seen that this is Black History Month. I deemed it very vital that I made this tribute to Muhammad Ali for being the most pro-black boxer athlete in human history. That will wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please, leave a comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to, okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you on the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed. Okay? God bless.